welcome back to the channel guys i'm actually sitting in the retro what i've dubbed the retro lair at the moment um, this is our shed transformation so take a quick look and then we'll get into this week's video <laughs> channel welcome officially welcome to the retro lair um, we spent the last um, few days really trying to get the shed done um, try to convert it into a, a space where we can kind of set some of this stuff up um, that we're trying to collect um, and also uh, give us a, a spot where we can do some auctions um, to get some of this stuff to people who um, to, who may need it um, for their own collection so haven't had a whole lot of time over the last week to really get out and do a lot of picking uh, like we like to do, um, but we have had several things that we've had come in, uh, more so just for our personal collection. Um, there is a spot here um, in town where I live where we were able to, to pop in last week and, and pick up a G.I. Joe um, to add to our collection, so hoping to try to get in there this week uh, along with Matt. There's a few other Joes that he's planning to pick up. Um, we're going to try to get that on video for you guys and then do a little meet and greet with the with the owner and kind of show you guys around show what they have to offer so be on the lookout for that that's coming up um, on the next next video drop hopefully um but i mean here it is it's not oh, nothing too crazy to look at um but it should get the job done for us and uh, it should allow us to do what we need to do um, we do have a lot of our Goosebump books are, are down over here right now. we got a few of our VHS. I um, definitely have more that we need to bring out um, and get and get in here VHS-wise. Um, I need to find a better place to put our Goosebumps um, collection as well. But our Nintendo collection that we started, some of that I've had since I was a kid. Uh, we'll be digging that out so we can try to get that set up over here. So we've got a spot to just kind of hang out and, and, and play some old video games here and there. So... Um, some of the stuff that we had come in this week, I'd like to get into some of that and show you guys what we got. Um, I had a a, um, a Steve Urkel that I had found while out flea marketing here roughly four or five months ago. Um, throughout COVID, uh, my kids and I, we sat down and we watched all nine seasons of The Family Matters and they loved Steve Urkel. So when I came across it, it was cool. We were excited to find it and lo and behold we ended up selling it a, a little while later and me being the dad to, to little girls like i felt bad so um, i took to ebay to see if i couldn't find another one in a hurry and i was able to find one at a decent price i think i picked him up for 35 dollars roughly and it came with a family matters book so i was able to pick up uh, steve urkel to add to our collection this is the book that came with it the book is in really good condition. Condition it says the Lean Mean Urkel Machine, based on the hit TV show. We'll probably go through this and read a little bit of it uh, with the girls, and then uh, the last one that we had was in really good condition, but he was not one that had a drawstring. So uh, I did try to see if I could find one that had one this time. He looks really good in really good condition, really good shape. No discoloration on any of it anywhere, um, and the drawstring does work. Very hard to understand, just like I'm sure it was when it, whenever it was new. So, look what you did. Still pretty cool. Um, the girls love it, so that's go going into our personal collection. The Joe that I ended up picking up whenever I was at the clubhouse, which you guys will see in the next video, um, was this Cobra Commander. He's in pretty good shape. Um, when I picked him up from the clubhouse, he was in two pieces, needed a new O-ring. Um, you can learn how to replace those pretty easily just by checking out a YouTube video. 
So we got that replaced and he is in really good shape. So I don't have a lot of GI Joes at the moment. I'm just now kind of starting to get back into collecting a little bit of those. Mainly just the ones that I feel like I I know I had as a kid and that I'm trying to just build upon. So once I get a few of those, then I'll start adding some, some more here and there. Um, my buddy, Matt, was actually out picking and I had recently picked this G.I. Joe case up for Matt um, at the same place where we got the other G.I. Joe. We got it for a decent price. I think we spent 20 bucks on it, if I remember correctly. It's got, if I can get it open here, it only has, I got some Joes in here, so I don't, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna tilt it and spill it all, but it only has one tray. Um, he went down to Arkansas here a couple weeks ago. Um, I think he was on a retreat or of some sort with his, with his family. Um, but they, while they were down there, they were doing some picking, looking in some of the flea markets down there, a lot to choose from. And he actually came across one that had both of the trays. So um, he was able to hang on to that one because he has way more Joes than I do. Something that he should be able to utilize pretty, pretty well. Um, so he gifted that one back to me um, so I could start putting some stuff in, uh, start putting my Joes in, in that and keep them protected. So, um, another thing that he was able to pick up for me this week, which I thought was pretty, pretty cool. Um, I saw one of these in an auction here recently. Uh, there it's something, I mean, you can pick them up at Walmart, nothing too retro, um, but it is a masters of the universe. I don't know if anybody has seen the new masters of the, the universe revelations on Netflix, but, um, the Skella God, I thought it was just a cool figure. He came across one um, while he was at a Walmart down in Oklahoma. Um, he was nice enough to pick it up for me. So I'm actually going to unbox this um, and display it. So haven't gotten around to that yet. Um, he did pick me up a few other things that are behind me hanging up. I'm not going to. It's just some of the newer Ninja Turtle line. Um, they're pretty cool. They're throwbacks to the originals, but you can't beat the, the, the original one. So I'm going to open this here in a little while and I'm gonna see where we can't display that. Um, here in here in the in the layer. So, and then we did have another box come in today. So we will open that for you guys right now and see what we got. If I remember correctly, I think this is Matt um, had ordered some old TMNT cases. So we'll go through here see what we got yeah. I'm not really sure what Matt paid for these I don't remember um, but this one is in really really good condition the one that I have has seen weather rain all I mean it's seen it's seen some stuff I'm pretty sure it's been beat pretty bad um, we actually found my old case when we were out going through my grandparents old house which is collapsed pretty much collapsed over the last several years. Um, nobody's been in it, I don't know how long, but we went out to look for a few things here recently and just happened to come across it. So how it survived this many years, I have no idea, but we cleaned it up as best we could. Um, I have it in my collection. So this is the turtle case that he had come in. This is just the, this one holds 12 figures, pretty standard. Put that one back here. And then this is one that I had not seen before was not aware that they were out there, but they are pretty cool. This is the deluxe um, TMNT collector's case. This actually holds 20 figures. This thing is massive. This is the size, pretty much the size of my torso. So it holds 20 figures. The artwork on it is fantastic. Got a lot of light reflecting off of it, which trying to avoid that but that, I mean that just goes to show how clean and nice this is so let's check the inside of this thing out yeah it's got both trays this thing is super nice this is something any collector would enjoy to have um, in their in their collection. So we'll set that back over here. All right, 
right, guys, like I said, um, don't have a whole lot of picking that we had this week. Looking forward to getting out over the next few days to, for something. Um, you can get in touch with them on there. Um, but be, be on the lookout for the next video. I hope you guys enjoy the new spot. Hoping to uh, shoot a lot more shoot a lot more footage in here for you guys and kind of go, go through as we add to the collection. So if you guys like what you saw, please like, subscribe, uh, hit the little notification bell so you know when we drop our next video. And until next time, see you guys.